So, uh, yeah, this weekend, you guys have been two out of four points, but with the two nothing leads in both, is it kind of like last half of the feeling? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you don't want to have a lead and give it up, but at the same point in time, you know, we know how good Syracuse is and you know that, you know, that's just not going to be enough, right? So they're hard fought games. Both games had a real, you know, there's a lot of violence. It was, it was heavy. It was mean, both sides, physical, physical games. Um, you'd like to find a way to win uh, and get, or get the extra point in overtime, but I liked a lot of what we did. Um, that's that's a game on Saturday, especially that um, you know we probably weren't capable of of keeping at two to two uh, twenty five games ago. And I just like the groups. Uh, they were really pushing after they tied it. Physical. They were leaning on us. You're on the road. Tough building. Big crowd. And uh, I liked our pushback. Um, Played hard physically. Mason Yops ran, uh, ran. You know, Philippe Myers, one of their best players, over with a massive hit. And I, that was that was a big turning point. Um, and and I liked our third period. We, we all played them in the third and had a lot of chances to win. Uh, we're still, I mean, you know, second but you can still lose this game, right? I mean, oh yeah. You know, games like that, we're going to want to make sure you keep the right? So the team still take losses from these You have to learn all the time. You, you game, you get. You have to get better in the playoffs. Like our, we, we believed we were getting better series to series in the playoffs last year. If you stay the same, other teams are going to go past you because there, there isn't staying the same. Staying the same means you're getting worse because other teams are improving. So um, you always try to get better. You're always trying to improve. Um, you know, I think both games, you're not, you can't sit and hold a two nothing lead and nor did we try to. Um, I thought, that both games, if you can get a third goal, now that makes them more uncomfortable. Um, now you're up three nothing or three to one maybe, and it makes them have to chase the game a little bit. Um, they're really good when they play in structure and slow it down and kind of grind on you with their size and physicality. Um, if we can get a third goal, that that pulls them out of that a little bit. Uh, I realize the record doesn't make time, but that's only the second time since third and third that he has played on the back side. He was really strong both games. Um, liked his play, liked his presence, liked his competitiveness. Um, looked in control in the net. Uh, really, it was a good challenge. You know, you, you play at home, go to overtime, got to go on the road, tough building, tough place to play. That's his first time in that building and, uh, and performed extremely well. You get a higher job on I mean, right now position is... Kind of guy that you see that more shots? Um, haven't asked him. I think most goalies would say that, though. Um, I think most goalies would probably prefer 10 to 15 in the first period. Now, you prefer 10 to 15 from good spots, not, not one-timers and two-on-ones and things like that. But, you know, goalies get 10 or 15 in the first period. They get in a rhythm. Obviously, our, our defensive numbers have improved dramatically. So, the games he's played of late have been less shot volume. Saturday's was was a little higher, um, and and it didn't seem to affect him at all. I know you said that Lions had a shot volume, but for three games in a row, Brett Murray, Brandon Byro, and Josh Rusek have looked really good together. What do you see? Well, I think um, Byro and Rusek have been, you know, all three of them have been some of our best players, if not our best players all season. But it's been really interesting of late that Brett Murray seems to be an igniter or a catalyst on whatever line he's going to. Um, you know, Murray and Jost and Noichev were really good together. Murray and Yapst and Mersh were really good together. Like, so we're starting to see a pattern that, that uh, Brett Murray's consistency of play uh, over the last 15 games has been incredibly high. And his, his, his bad game right now is like a B, B plus. Um, and then he's had some A games in there, goal assist, four points, you know, things like that as well. So um, th as a threesome, they're doing a lot of good things, but, but I did want to point out how, how effective Murray has been with his consistency of play in the last month or so. One of the things you're going to do this weekend is slight alterations here because Rick was out. When we spoke, he was getting back. Still day to day, um, he's he's better. Um, you know, I'd say he's probable for Wednesday, but um, 
you know, right now, you know, you know, we want to make sure we still have 29 games left or whatever it is. And um, we got a lot of important playoff style games ahead. And obviously he's had an incredible volume of play over the last 15, 16 months. So we just want to be smart about it. Day to day. Day to day. One of the things we just talked about that stretch. So Wednesday's going to start seven games in London, and next week we'll play five and seven, I think. Uh, how do you kind of look at this stretch from afar? Because it looks like it's going to be pretty tough. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I thought it was seven and ten until like a week ago, so I found out we got an extra rest day in there. So seven and 11 seems a lot better than seven and ten. Um, you know, we're going to need our whole lineup. That, that's huge. You know, somewhere in these stretch of games, we're going to need all three goalies. We're going to need uh, all seven healthy defensemen, and hopefully Stillman uh, comes back at some point in the stretch of games. Uh, we're going to need all 14, 15 forwards that are healthy. Like, everybody's going to need to play because the, the volume of game and the turnaround of the game and the timing of, of such is just going to be so high that guys are going to have to come in and out. Um, you're not going to – you know, you don't usually go on like a seven game run in these types of stretches, but you need to, you need to win it. You need to find a way to come out on the positive side of this seven game stretch uh, and have more wins than losses so that we keep uh, pace with, with the standings of how tight the North Division is. Don, do we have anything? Not for me, no. Keaton, what do you got, buddy? Am I an intense coach? That's a good question. Um, I think it's probably a better question for Byro uh, or the players. Um, I think I'm probably a passionate, energetic coach. Um, I think I definitely have an intensity to me, uh, but at the same time, I try to make the rink uh, a very fun place to be for our players because I think when the players are having fun and they want to be here, they get better from that. Good decisions? Good, am I teaching our players good this season? Uh, well, the fans might be able to answer that one better. Um, some games, yes. Some games, no. Um, I think that uh, we have we have a, a, a way of play and a style of practice that we believe in. Um, and I think over the last number of years, including this year, how much better our players have gotten. Like that's how my goal as a coach and our goal as a coaching staff is we want to make our players' careers better. Uh, some of those guys, it's to get to the NHL, like so many of the guys in the past few years, and other guys, it's just to continue to have great careers here or get big contracts when they go over to Europe. Uh, but that's our goal is to make all of our players better uh, so it makes their life and their career better. How long have I been a coach? Uh, I've been a coach for a long time. Fortunately, I wasn't that good as a player. Um, so my career ended right after college. Um, so I started coaching 21 years old. Um, so I think now it's been, I think this is 29 or 30 years. Uh, I think this is year 29. Uh, 20 of them in college hockey and then, uh, and then like four, almost four at the U.S. national team and then, and then here. Any other questions, Keaton? Thanks for coming today, buddy.